That's the way we love a player to play. Full of intensity. Tsaka ano. Tama May passion, ano? Itong tatlong referee magdi-decide ngayon kung meron matatawagan. O oh, yan. Parehong ano yan. Crew chief, obviously, madami ka na experience. Nice pass. Matthew, in a box. What's it up? Okay, Abreva says, no way! Tunay na lakas mo, balit sa inyo ng Cobra Energy Drink. Walang palo at 13 pesos mo. 309 remaining, 1649 ang ating bilang. Kung ngayon lang kayo nakabuton sa amin at uh, magandang gabi ko sa inyo lahat. Quick the pass, sends it outside of Weber, draws it closer. Yeah! Short, of Weber off and running. Three on one break, Abueva all the way, hoop and the harm. I was gonna say, you know, the three on one fast break, you would have maybe all the two points and the foul. Pinasapit na talaga eh. One, and this round. Let's take a look at it once more. He had MGR to his right. Sumusunod naman itong si Motao Tua, pero sabi ni Calvin, ah, kino yan, boy. Kevin Dorf. Ginamit yung Turner pick, pinagaw ni Calvin. Boy, pa rin yung atake ng New Zealand. Three on the shot clock, though. At the buzzer, Rusko can't get it in. Double time on the trabajo. Ng mga pibas. Davis driving all the way. And there's a foul on Abueva. Sabi now, he's going outside, but like I said, he's got that ability for that one, two dribble and go to the basket, but he's always going right. So you're hoping that guys like Tautua, Asi, Whoever is guarding him will try and anticipate that right side. Here's that drive. Rusko on the other end against MGR rejected. No thank you, says Matt Ganuelas Rosser on the other end. Abueva hoping the harm. Abueva, one of the best, especially in international play, because most of the guys are taller than your feet. of RDO no pagpagsak na doon so expect the game to get a little bit more fit really easy when the ball is so deep inside pero kita mo yung Calvin Abueva going right away kita kina sige nashoot mo ako doon pero babalikan din kita na mabilis na layup the finish and the foul and the master guapo mo Dorf for three di makabawi Abueva is fouled and uh, that will be penalty now. Yui! Vintage. Vintage Calvin Abueva. Castro again. Back iron. Calvin offensive rebound. Bodies flying. Foul on... Castro on Abueva, I think? Possibly on Calvin Abueva. Yeah. But Calvin Abueva really trying to get that offensive rebound. Both guys taking some time to get up. Oh. That's going to be on Abueva. That will mean it. Getting the ball. That could have been a foul yeah. on Davis. And then Davis Abueva had, oh. had that ball. Then a Davis falling over Abueva. Tignan natin ulit. Ayan eh, hawak ni Calvin eh. Hawak na niya eh. Oo, oh, tapos yung right arm nitong si Davis getting Abueva. Maybe from the other angle. 
the how that I guess you can't the top Gets it back from Lee again. Guo taking his time. Cho Peng. Yi going to put it up from mid-range. Off the mark. Offensive ball for Cho Chi. Boy, he's got some fight as well. So does that man Abueva, but he picks up the foul. And we've talked all tournament as we see the big offensive rebound. And Abueva was not going to allow a three-point play there. Yi looking to set the screen. Cho Peng moves it inside towards the big man. He's trying to roll. And defense. Yi. When it goes from Wong, this is Lee again. Up against Norwood, Romeo coming out quickly to close down Guo. Yi setting the screen. He's going to shoot the long two. And it's short, there's contact underneath. A foul on a waiver. He can't believe it. His mouth wide open, but it's going to be two shots. Tad Baldwin can't believe it either. But there's such a height mismatch underneath the basket that they have to be so physical on the boards. And that fouls underneath the basket. It sounds silly, but China have been struggling from the free throw line, so preventing those easy baskets is important. Chai, Cho Chi. Contact involving a waiver in Yi. It's going to be number three on a waiver. As well as those eight rebounds. This is the second foul shot. Tech foul on Joe Peng. He had a few words to say there to Abueva. Yeah, that's a nice little break for the. F now we see the incident again involving Cho Peng. Hit with the technical. Foul. Last night, Aram were able to get it back to six, but they weren't able to maintain that pressure. Can the Philippines keep putting the pressure on? Got a foul underneath. That's on go. Back out to Cho Chi, Yi, driving inside, hands it off, hesitation on the shot, rejection from Norwood, lead is thrown to 16, Toss putting it up, off the mark, tip back into Philippines possession. Something special, it's got to start at the defensive end though. Final three minutes of the third, Guo back to Yi, he's going to pull up for the long two. Abueva grabbing the rebound, foul on Lee Gen. A few more words exchanged there, this time between Lee Gun and... To board off the missed foul shot this time, Monty Veyros looking for a three of his own, Yi grabbing the board. Abueva battling again and called for the foul. Number four on Abueva. Foul trouble mounting for the Philippines. The Philippines are a breaking point here. Blatch and Castro on the bench, Gabe Norwood's just gone to the bench. Monty Veyros is the... Two and a half minutes here. Romeo hasn't provided the spot that we know he can do yet. A waiver with the fake, driving the baseline, banks what it a in. Finish. Fantastic move, strong move when the Philippines desperately needed one. He went straight into the body of Yi. He rode the contact. And what a beautiful soft finish. And he's been big for the Philippines here in the third quarter. And playing on four fouls as well. Kuo Ai Lun. Final two minutes of the third. Chai onto the corner to Lee Gen. Kuo again. He's going to shoot the three. Looking to drive it himself now. Denied by Abueva. And how about that from Abueva playing on four fouls. Oh, he's been superb. And we talk about his stats. Seven points with those four. Through the legs a couple of times. Looking to attack now. There's the pirouette move. Hung it high. Abueva battling for the board again. Abueva trying to grab it. Eventually, Toss does. Castro then fouled on half court. A waiver back into the game. Can he be that spark? Can he force some turnovers and make some things happen? Well, he's been called for the foul. And that'll be him for the ball game. It's him done. Calvin Abueva fouled out with nine points of three of eight shooting, five rebounds. The Philippines falling. We've got a tech foul on Go Ailun, who is giving a send-off to Abueva. And just, you know, gave him such a rap for his composure and le leadership, and he picks up his fourth personal 
on a technical foul and you see Ding there just trying to calm him down. Got caught up in the moment. And that's what a Blaver does to opponents with his energy and his physicality. We see it there. One last contribution in the game from Calvin Abueva. It's those little contributions that he makes to help his team out. The Philippines have four in the first quarter. Abueva trying to kill with a steal and has to. And a foul on Abdel Noor. And that's where the Philippines bench is dangerous. They're not a great half-court team, but they've got energy, they've got athleticism, and they've got to force some turnovers and then get down the court quick and that applies. Terence Romeo. From Youngblood knocked away by a waiver, and here comes Romeo behind the back. Trying to get away from Ackle, finds a waiver. Hesitation on the shot, and they will tip it in with him. The bench doing the business for the Philippines. Terence Romeo, the spark, with five points. A dial onto Youngblood. Youngblood slips on the court, a waiver all over him. Last possession, Abueva stole the ball, ended up with two points down the other end. This time, knocks it out of bounds in just 10 seconds on the shot clock. Stagger, stagger. Hoping to come up with the experience in that situation. But in the open court, there you are, Castro all the way through, Abueva got a touch. And that's what he brings. Forced away by Black. Waver's in a real battle here. 